Hi, my name is Elaine Marsh and I'm a student pharmacist with the Ben and Métis Fish College of Pharmacy. And today I'll be talking to you a little bit about the medication known as Palmacort or budesonide suspension for inhalation. Now, budesonide is typically used to treat asthma long-term. It's not intended to be a replacement for rescue inhalers and it's not intended to be used to treat asthma attacks. Budesonide can also be used to treat eosinophilic esophagitis and it's designed to be taken as directed by your doctor. If you're using it for asthma treatment, shake the vial gently and use it with your nebulizer machine. If you're using it for eosinophilic esophagitis, however, go ahead and prepare the dose as directed and swallow it. For this condition, budesonide is typically mixed with some kind of suspension, such as honey or um, another thick liquid to help it coat the throat. Regardless of which indication you're using this for, make sure you rinse and spit with water after use. If you do happen to miss a dose of budesonide, go ahead and skip that missed dose and continue with your normal routine. Do not take two doses at the same time and do not take any extra doses. As far as side effects are concerned, patients using budesonide can expect to notice a little bit of nose or throat irritation, a little bit of a cough, and a little bit of upset stomach. If you begin to notice rash or other signs of an allergic reaction, any unexplained weight gain or redness or white patches in the mouth or throat, Go ahead and let your doctor know right away as these can be signs that budesonide are not, is not the right medication for you. Speaking of do your doctor, before you start taking budesonide, you should let them know if you are allergic to any medications, food, or drink, as well as all the medications that you are currently taking. These include prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, and any vitamins or supplements that you take regularly. As far as where to keep budesonide, it should be stored at room temperature and protected from light. It also needs to be stored in a dry place. For any specific questions regarding budesonide, I do encourage you to reach out to your local pharmacy or your primary care physician. This video will also remain online and available for you to rewatch at your convenience. Thank you so much for your time, and I do hope that you have a wonderful day.